Unless you have control of your fertility, then all the other freedoms are really not able to be accessed. My parents were lovely people, but they certainly didn't talk about sex. And I think that I realised early on that there was something wrong here. My first pregnancy was in 1956, and I was using a diaphragm and just knew that and the time was not right. We couldn't afford it. We were both poor medical students. You certainly didn't go to a doctor. It was all very um, secretive um, because it was illegal. And I did what most people do. You listen to the old wives' tales. You have a skipping rope and you um, do excessive exercise. If you take um, a bottle of DeWitt's pills and that turned my urine blue, but it didn't um, cause a miscarriage. So we wrote away. He had a mail order service, abortion remedy, and that came in a brown paper package. It was a bottle of dark liquid, and I took two tablespoonfuls three times a day. Goodness knows what was in it. I was a criminal. I had committed a crime, and if if I had been charged, I would have um, faced perhaps up to seven years in jail. Having had these experiences, that I felt very sure of what I was doing, even when there was a lot of criticism. When I was introducing the emergency contraceptive pill, there were people who said, Oh, Margaret, I think you've gone too far this time. Um, this is borderline uh, abortion. If you really feel that whatever profession you're in needs to be challenged, um, then, then do so. I thought that if the Queen considers an abortionist and a family planning specialist like me, a venereologist, uh, worthy of her award, then I should be gracious and accept being a Dane.